Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope you guys are having a great Monday afternoon. We have some breaking news on the Eagles. And my son, Philly 500, a.k.a. Denzel Washington, is ecstatic about it. Um, first, let's get some background on this. Uh, the Eagles have made a trade getting rid of J.J. Arthea Whiteside and trading him for Uga uh, Amani, uh, safety, from the Seattle Seahawks. But let's get a little background here because the Eagles, um, much like the Cowboys, we have a problem when it comes to second-round draft picks. The Eagles have a problem in drafting um, – in the first round, well, actually, a J.J. was actually a second-round pick as well. Um, and they ended up drafting J.J. Arthea Whiteside. <coughs> Excuse me. <clears throat> the very pick before D.K. Metcalf. Yes, D.K. Metcalf uh, was taken off the board. Let's go back to draft day here for one minute to give you the background. Come on. Give me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Give it to me one time, white rerun. <laughs> As eagle. Let's do it, let's do it, let's do it, let's do it. Go, 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 go. Here we go. Here we go. Wow, they took a wide receiver from Stanford. I don't know much about this dude at all. Does anybody know a lot about him? They went wide receiver. I said they go running back a wide receiver. They did it. 6'2", 225 pounds, 4'5", 40, not that fast. I don't know much about him. Quick, he's quick burst. He's compared to Devin Funches. I would have gone Paris Campbell, but hey, it is what it is. I'm not complaining. They need a wide receiver. Can anybody tell me anything about this guy? Hmm. I I have no 16 problem. Sixteen receptions, two hundred ninety yards. I, I said they go putting yards, back a wide receiver in the, in, one the first, TD, in the second round. They did it. Second round pick. They did it. He's garbage. I don't know anything about him. He looks big and nice, physical to me. I I I swear I haven't heard much about this guy. DK Metcalf is still on the board. Eight yes. games, nine games with 100 plus receivers. Yes, the very next pick was DK Metcalf. Now, this is today after knowing that DK was the very next pick. And mind you, when Rhaegar was picked, the very next pick was Justin Jefferson, who, yeah, Philly 500 didn't want. But this is Philly 500 today when they got rid of. Oh, man. I, I just. I, I, I'm just besides myself. I'm just besides myself. This is great, great, great news. You know, let me first start off and say this. Yesterday, we were getting a lot of reports that the Eagles cut J.J. Ortega Whiteside. He didn't practice, and they listed him as not practicing for football reasons. Many speculated that he was going to get cut. Me, I said it's because he stinks, which to me is the same thing. But... You know, we weren't positive he was going to get cut. And I and I thought about coming on and doing a video about Whiteside. And people were like, hey, you're going to do a video about Whiteside maybe being cut. But I'm like, if I do it, I'm going to jinx it. Right? I'm going to jinx it. I don't want to do anything until I know. Well, guess what? As soon as I was walking home for lunch to come do a video, news broke. And the news is beautiful. The Eagles are trading tight end slash wide receiver I wouldn't call him either JJ <laughs> Ortega Whiteside to the Seahawks for defensive back and I guess you, I can't pronounce his name but Ugo Amadi per league source now JJ Ortega Whiteside is a horrible name I, because you, you can't say Ortega you gotta say Ortega it sounds better uh, John Clark reported JJ Ortega Whiteside is being traded to Seattle for defensive mm -hmm. back Ugo Amadi, according to Tom Palacio, just did not work out. Of, just did not work out in Philly. Just did not work out. That just didn't work out. That's the <laughs> understatement of the century. He stinks. All right, and you you drafted him over guys like DK Metcalf. Now. 
the one great thing about this whole thing is that Howie Roseman went out and got A.J. Brown. And when he did that, he really admitted to the mistake of J.J. Ortega oh, Whiteside. And then, on top mistake. of it, we come into preseason. Whiteside's moving to tight end. We all know that ain't going to work out. You knew it wasn't going to work out. And then he comes in. He drops passes in preseason. You could thinking, oh, this guy's got to be done. He's got to be done. And boom, bang, bing, bang, boom. Howie Roseman says, I'm not just going to cut the guy. Yeah. I'm going to trade him. For, for a guy named Ugo Amadi. Uh -huh. Now, let me tell you, when I hear the word Ugo Amadi, I'm assuming that's how you pronounce it. <laughs> it, it to me, Ugo Amadi sounds like, it sounds like a high-priced, high-class suit <coughs> that, like, John Gotti would wear. You know, I, I, yo, I got my Ugo Amadi on you there. You know what I mean? Let's go. Let's mm -hmm. go to the track. I got my Ugo Amadi. That, that's what his name sounds like. But I don't care what his name sounds like. I care that he can play football. Now, Ugo Amadi, I have to say, I don't necessarily know if he'll make the team. I don't know what his chances are, but I do know this. He has been more productive in his career than J.J. Ortega Whiteside. All right? 25 He's 5'9", 201 pounds, 25 years old. Last year, he had 42 sol solo tackles, one forced fumble, one interceptions, and one uh, and six pass deflection or pass uh, defenses. Now, if you look at his career... He, he was a fourth-round pick, I believe, in 20, mm -hmm. 2019. His first year, he he had 17 yeah. total tackles. Uh, yeah. In 2020, he had 54, or 47 solo, uh, 54 total. And then he had 42 to, uh, solo, 54 total in 2021. So at least this guy has played a little bit. At least he's got gone out there and been productive a little bit. Okay, that's way more than I can say. For J.J. Ortega Whiteside. So, Ugo Amadi, yeah. to me, if you could pull him out and get him in a trade for J.J. Ortega Whiteside, I, I think it's a win. I think it's an absolute win for the Philadelphia Eagles. I could not be happier with this move. Well, truth be told, I guess, you know, you got something for a guy that was a bust. The crazy thing is, is you had D.K. Metcalf sitting there in the next pick. D.K. Metcalf. You know, you can be mad about C.D. Lamb and all that, but by the way, you had Jefferson because you've got another receiver bust that you're trying to get rid of, and that is uh, Rhaegar. But, hey, you love Howie Roseman and what he does. I fire Howie. Fucking fire the motherfucker. Stupid motherfucker. What an idiot! What an idiot! Dallas has Amari Cooper and Gallup, but we don't need a receiver! Are you kidding me? I don't want Justin Jefferson, he's ass! He's stupid! I fire his ass! I fire his ass! I mean, how he's got to be stupid. What are you doing? You just let Dallas take him.